If this is your first time watching, please click subscribe down below on the bottom right here. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. An air conditioning tune-up is what responsible homeowners do to maintain their home's HVAC system. It's a thorough cleaning and testing of the air conditioning system to ensure that it'll work when we need it to this summer. We operate with the understanding that a clean system will run way longer than a dirty system. Not every HVAC company in town performs air conditioning tune-ups either. And I would say it's because they feel that they're not very good money generators for them. I mean, I get it. Wiping down air conditioners and testing parts isn't very exciting for some. But I don't think they really understand the opportunity we have here to create a relationship with someone and their HVAC system. I like to develop relationships with my customers by taking care of their AC system. If we can perform an AC tune-up every spring for years and years, I know my customers will at the very least allow us to leave them a quote for a new system when that time comes someday. At the same time, our customers get to work with Sacramento's most honest air conditioning company. Our technicians will only bring up parts or repairs that'll make your system return to factory specs, help it last longer, or make it safer for you and your family. So what happens on an AC tune-up? When we're on the way, our technician will call you and let you know that we're on the way. Uh, we always try to park on the street in, uh, with our white vans with the Fox Family logo on it. Then after you open the door and allow us to come in, we usually start off with the air filter and the thermostat. I like to ask if there's any areas of the house that need any attention. Like, um, do any of your rooms not get the right amount of air? Does it cool the house down to your satisfaction in the middle of summer? Questions like this can establish how you like your system to run. Because not every homeowner is the same, right? Once I know what's going on in the homeowner's mind, we then turn the AC system on, together, at the thermostat. And we listen for the air to come on, and then we walk to the outside together to make sure that the outside system comes on. And now we all know that the system was running when I got there. From here, you'll be able to sit back and do whatever you needed to do uh, while the technician goes out and runs through a list specifically designed for your type of air conditioning system. We usually start off at the air handler in the attic or the closet. As a responsible business owner, I need my techs to kind of get in and get out of those uh, attics quickly uh, while they're there at the furnace. And, and that's only really there if it's in the attic. It's hard to force a tech to spend some time cleaning furnaces when they're in a hot attic. <clears throat> Still though, the furnace gets physically cleaned during the furnace tune-up and not the AC tune-up. Uh, we're more focused on the AC here. But there are some really important things to check out at the air handler, so we try to get in and out effectively, but safely. The most important things we're testing near the air handler is the temperature difference between your supply and return air ducts. Um, if it's not where it needs to be, we have a bunch of checks that we can do to get it right. A quick look at the evaporator coil can make a huge difference in the comfort of your home this summer. If it's dirty or clogged, it'll make your system underperform. We also need to make sure that your blower and the flywheel is clean and ready to run a lot this summer. We're always pouring water down the drain lines to make sure the condensate drains properly too. We always try to offer a condensate safety switch to protect your home from potential damage. The secondary drain pan under the evaporator coil in the attic is a potential source of problems too. So we like to make sure that it's ready for any emergency by making sure there's no insulation in the pan and that all water that might get into that pan will flow out correctly. Another big problem that we see with pans is that uh, the metal ones tend to rust out if any water has been in them in the past. So sometimes year at, after a few years, that pan can completely rust out if it had water in it. So that's just something we wanna check every year. We also make sure the metering device for your refrigeration system is mounted properly. We look for any obvious refrigerant leaks in the copper tubing as well. We also check for proper insulation levels while we're up there too, because it's so important to create a nice barrier between the hot air in the attic and the cool air that you're trying to keep in your house. It really pays to have a thick layer of insulation up there. Once we're done in the attic, and I really only want my techs up there maybe 15 minutes on warmer days, we'll head to the outdoor unit. The majority of the AC tune-up is done here at the outdoor unit. Here, we test components inside the panel. We focus on things like your refrigerant levels to make sure that your system isn't running too long unnecessarily. The high and low voltage electrical running the AC needs to maintain a certain sizing, workmanship, and integrity to it. All in all, it's about 35 items on our outdoor unit and about 20 items on the indoor unit that we're checking. If you happen to have a package unit that sits on the side of the house or up on the top of the roof even, we still go through all 55 items. After we check the AC system, if there's any parts that need to be changed out, we'll let you know about them. 
Our trucks are stocked with almost every part you need for your AC to get back running properly today. If the system is running well and no parts are needed, we just get right to work washing your AC. Now, many manufacturers of air conditioners are switching to materials like microchannel, which can't be washed with soapy or chemical solutions. So we pay attention to things like that. Also, if you have a dog that runs around in your backyard, we try not to use any soapy solutions that'll drain into the area around the AC so your best friend doesn't get sick. We are so thorough cleaning the AC, it's not uncommon to see a tech vacuuming out your AC to get rid of the sticks and other debris that can be a nuisance to a healthy air conditioner. So what's the benefit of getting an AC tune-up this year? When the air conditioning tune-up is complete, I know that you're going to have peace of mind knowing that your system is running in tip-top shape. Doing this every year will really pay off in the later years of your HVAC system. As a technician myself, my 20-year-old system is so clean, it runs like a champ. It's old and loud, but it keeps my house cool just fine, even on the 105 degree days. Why? Because I take care of it. So give Fox Family a call here in Sacramento County, the Foothills, or the Motherlode, and we would be honored to come out and service your HVAC system in 2019. If this is your first time watching, please click subscribe down below on the bottom right here. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air, and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.